So the experience portion of your LinkedIn is very important. And you can talk to so many individuals, right? You can talk to six other recruiters, 12 other HR professionals, and they're probably all gonna tell you something different than what I'm about to tell you right now. But in my opinion, the experience portion, the actual meat of your LinkedIn, needs to be a summary of your resume. And we'll get into this later with some of the other videos, but the big thing, if you wanna think about it in marketing, right? You hear terms like top of the funnel, bottom of the funnel. I'm not a marketing person. Those are the only two marketing terms I know. But your LinkedIn is the top of the funnel to get people to your resume. Nobody wants to sift through bullet points after bullet points after bullet points on a LinkedIn. People want to know what you do in a super short summarized version. And so in my opinion, my two cents, your LinkedIn should be a summary of your resume. So let's break that down specifically and what it looks like. So first off, you need to show progression with your current company if you've been there for any amount of time where you've risen through your career. So a lot of people just write their LinkedIn in a way where you've been at one place for six years and that's it. Um, and that's wrong. What that doesn't show to any other employer, to any other hiring manager, any other recruiter is that you've actually grown within a company. So make sure that you go through your LinkedIn and notate dates and positions that you've grown up within your company. Um, for example, if you check out my profile, I've gone from a national recruiter associate to managing director, and I've showed the paths along the way that I've been able to do that. The next thing is, is summarizing those positions in two or three bullet points. Right, so even if you're not in tech, I wanna know what you do at a super high level like you're describing it to your parents. Let's face it, we all talk to our parents differently about what we do than we do somebody in our industry. So that's the first thing. So for example, for me, I help find software developers that write pieces of software like Facebook. Next two or three bullet points need to be what you do specifically. So for me, what do I do? I meet people every day. I meet 15 people a week. Um, I attend code conferences, I speak at events, um, I manage a team of nine recruiters, right? You wanna get quantitative as much as you feasibly can. And then finally, you just need to recap the skills and the, the tools specifically that you use. For example, here at Baco, we use the applicant tracking system called Bullhorn, right? That is a industry specific thing that if I ever go to another recruiting company, I won't Baco, don't worry that that recruiting company is gonna to wanna to know that I worked on. So again, to recap, three or four bullet points under each position on your experience and also showing progression within your career within the LinkedIn experience section.